people just like Saul today. Just like this today. They follow these exact, exact steps. First, they change from the Holy Spirit leadership to religious spirit leadership. That's why I tell you, be careful who you connect with. Be careful who you even tread your feet into house. Be careful what you do outside of God's will. When God say no, you still say yes. Be careful because that's how easy it is for you to change your steps. Amen? Amen? You go from Holy Ghost leading to self lead, which is religious. But you think you're doing something right, but it's not God. It's the enemy that didn't trick you. And so then they begin to grow bitter and hard-hearted. Soon they are pushing the pastor out of the way and doing their own thing. Doing their own ministry. It won't be long until their self-centeredness and pride will lift them so high they will be worthless to God. I'm prophet. Every time I get up, every time I say something, I gotta prophesy. I can't sit up under her because I'm a prophet. I can't listen to her because I hear. Sit down somewhere. You've heard a couple of times and you think you're a prophet. Amen. Amen. And so can't nobody, you, you, you under nobody. It's a problem. Amen. It's a problem. It. Amen. Right. So I'm going. I'm going with someone here. Y'all pay attention. Pay attention. Yeah. Amen. God give you an inch, you take a mile. It wasn't time for you to take the mile. Got a big ego. Mm. Sit on down. Sit down and be taught. It ain't your time. Just because God give you a little bit, don't mean it was time for you to run with that. Amen. 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 So listen. So they become worthless to God. So in 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 1. Chapter 15 verse 1. One day Samuel said to Saul, I anointed you king of Israel because the Lord told me to. Now listen to this message from the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty has said, I decided to settle an account with the nations of Amalek, 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 for opposing Israel when they came from Egypt. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to stop right there. Now we're going to go to verse 3. Verse 3, right on. Right on. Now go and completely destroy the entire Amalekite Amalekite nation the men, the women, the children the babies, the cattle the sheep, the sheep I'm sorry, the sheep, the camels and the donkeys Amen He said I'm wiping them all out all the Amalekites I don't want you to leave a baby born when God is trying to get you to get rid of some things in your life you have to be ready to get rid of it all. You can't hold on to nothing. God is trying to elevate you, but you thinking about feelings, emotions. Amen? I can't do that. That's why we got to be led by what? The Holy Ghost. Please listen to me really, really good. So we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. 15, 7, and 9. And he took Agan, the king of the Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of a sword. But Saul and the people spared Agan. And the best of the sheep and the oxen and the, what is this, the family and the lambs and all that was good and would not utterly destroy them. What did God say? What did God say? To destroy it all. You can't 
can't let go and let God and hold on at the same time. You can't let go and let God and hold on at the same time. Amen? And so when he was sitting, he said, oh no. God's man just fell. And the people were in agreement with it. You have to be careful who you come into agreement with. God. They start out good. Amen. When they fall off, you got to fall back. I tell y'all this all the time. I tell y'all this. Follow me as I follow Christ. When I stop following Christ, y'all fall off. Amen. Listen. When God is moving, you move it just like that. You don't follow man. Please be careful. And so what he said was, oh no, the one God chose, don't you know everybody in here is a chosen vessel? It's scary, it is, that a whole church full of chosen people, not just called people, not just lay members, but everybody got a call on their life that's so out cold. And so when we see somebody else fall, don't follow suit. Amen? Because they were so anointed and spoken tongues of men and angels. Because they can prophesize and get a prophecy through. And then y'all just praying and everybody just let them just pray. Y'all, we're weaklings compared to her. Go ahead. Let me hear you pray. Oh, you understand what I'm trying to say. Amen? And so look, the people follow suit. So he says, he says, the, 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 the God's man just fell. And the people were in agreement with them. God said to utterly destroy all. If you're not with us, you are against us. If you in this thing, we do y'all hear me? But when it go, when it come, get tainted, it's time to go. Gotta destroy all contact. I gotta cut that off. Hey, what's going on at the church? Uh, 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 what they do today? You ain't here no more. Till you come back, I don't discuss nothing that goes on in the church. I'm not discussing nothing. It ain't none of your business. I can't talk. So what you preach about? You should have been there. Cut off all, all, all communications. Destroy that thing. Because if that thing or that person left for whatever reason it is, they fell out of fellowship. When they fell out of fellowship, you don't call them and say, pray with me. What? Amen. Amen. Hey, you want to pray? Hey, you ain't been here. So somewhere along the line, you fell out. Amen. So I got to destroy that thing because whatever you fell out about, I don't know what it is, but I don't want it. Because it's contagious, evidently. Amen. So if I continue to talk, and you might have something negative to say about Pastor, I better get off the phone with you. Because if enough negativity get in me, don't listen to garbage. I'm going to say something out my mom I haven't been saying. Well, you know, I just didn't like Sister Carolyn. She just laughed crazy. <laughs> she, uh, she just, I didn't like her, so I left. And it didn't look like she'd be looking at me wrong, so I left. And so every time you talk to that person, that person on the same note, saying the same thing, it's time for you to kill that. Kill that. Look, look. Uh, 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 so how's your mother? Uh, how's your dog? Get up off of that. But it, it's, he all right, the dog okay. But anyway, Pastor China, you know him. You know what I call you that? Then you have to make a conscious decision. Wait a minute, every time I talk to this person, mm -hmm. I cannot continue to go with the adversary. Amen. Amen. So because Saul was the leader, because Saul was in charge, they followed suit. Bad idea. Amen. So listen. Where we at? So they utterly, he utterly 